Hey everyone, got another video for you. This time talking about uh, the brushless motors I have on hand and some plans I have for them. So in a previous video you might have seen a couple of them. This guy here is a 4274 2200 KV. Uh, here we got a 4068 2650 KV. This guy, we have a 3674 2850 KV. This was actually what I have had in my Traxxas uh, TRVEC, TRX4 Sport, that yellow Forerunner uh, crawling video I have posted. Uh, this was overkill for that. Uh, too big, too much speed. Um, I cut some, I cut the servo mount just to even get it to fit, um, ended up taking it out. I went with a 3660, 1750 KV and that thing's awesome in that. Um, here we have the 3670, 2850 KV. This is actually the same size that comes in the ready to run Cheetah, um, but actually a higher speed. I think the Cheetah has a 2500 KV, um, but that's why I went with my 4076. Here I have a 3650, 5900 KV, and a 2845, 3100. Um, so, to give you guys some thoughts and some uh, ideas on what's going on with these, um, I put a very similar one of these into this truck right here. So it got a 2845, um, but I went with the 5900 KV, so a lot higher speed. Um, you can see in here I got a 3S. Uh, love this one because it's got a long battery tray, so you can actually put a decent pack in there. And if you saw my earlier videos, uh, the tray kept popping out, or this cage kept popping out, so I added a strap there to hold it in place, and it's been doing wonders. Um, took it for a little 2S rip yesterday, and it did pretty good. Um, waiting to run it on this 3S and seeing if I'm going to burn out the uh, ESC. I'm only ha I only have a 35 amp ESC in there. Uh, that's all I had in hand. And I actually took the stock internal... Um, stock electronic guts and swapped them into here which is the same exact as if you bought a brushless version um, it's a pretty cool setup and if you were to get this one or the Fei, uh first of all I recommend the EAT it's cheaper and you get the same same thing uh, comes in black which I think looks awesome um, but the brushless upgrade is worth the difference and worth the cost you get a three wire servo um, you get a standalone uh, receiver um, and ESC um, I mean it, I transferred it all over doesn't matter anyways but it was great because I had the parts to upgrade this one and I have to say the stock 390 it's controllable it's enjoyable but it's lacking it does not give you the excitement that um, the brushless or a 550 motor would um, the stock setup worked great in here but had plans to just make it better make it crazier I actually wanted to put this guy in there the 3650 5900 but surprisingly it would not fit um, there just wasn't enough clearance to cover it so I have the biggest small motor you can get in there now for this this guy is what I have planned. Uh, I fried the motor trying to run a 3S on here. Uh, pretty surprising. I thought it would take it, but it, it just it burnt it. Um, so this looks like it will fit in there. So that will be the future plan for this. Um, I got some metal wheels thrown on here. I love this. This is the WL Toys uh, 144001. Uh, one of my favorites and um, the first RC that got me out of uh, or got me interested other than uh, crawling. 
so that's going to be very cool. Um, back to the small one. Uh, this will probably go. I originally bought it for one of my um, WPL crawler kits. Wanted to make a, a quick running basher. This is a, a, a shell I painted. Um, thought I did a pretty decent job. It's pretty messy in some areas, but it was actually really fun and very uh, gratifying to, uh, to complete. Um, now going back to the big ones, uh, you might have heard me talking. I have a ZD9116 coming and it's a rolling chassis. I plan to stick this guy in because I know it can take a 4274. So that's my thoughts for and future plans for this one. Um, I'm actually thinking about running this in my Cheetah just because it had a higher speed rating. And I actually had this in there initially because uh, I didn't Dremel out that little plastic uh, um, part that the motor uh, kept the motor from fitting. Um, and it run great on uh, this motor. Um, the 4076 I have is only a 2000 kV. And because the pinion size is limited by the mount, it's really, uh, I think it runs slower on that setup than it does with this motor. So what I'm either going to do is swap it into this one, or I'm going to drill out the mounts so I can fit a bigger pinion into that one, which the motor should take easily. Um, I have a ZD Touring car uh, coming, and I'm planning to swap out the internal guts, uh, the electronics, uh, with one of these, um, two. I'm thinking I might go with the 3670 because I think there's limited space, um, but one of these two will make it in there, and that thing is going to be... Uh, uh, predicting it to be pretty fast um, and I'll take those uh, electronic internals and probably stick them into something else um, even possibly into my WL Toys A949 I just have a major love for rally cars and I'm eyeing uh, the bigger 110 and 18 rally cars so it might be a future video um, sorry to uh, ramble on longer than I expected, but just get super into these things. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions about anything you see. And uh, please subscribe if it's not too much trouble. And thanks again for everything. Bye. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick short run video of my upgraded FAE FY08 with a 2845 5900kV uh, brushless motor running on a 3S. I mentioned in the other video I have a strap there to keep the cage from coming up. I'm going to power this on. I got the switch routed nicely. You hear that brushless motor sing. And This is, uh, again, just a 3S. It already wheelied pretty well on the uh, stock brushless setup, but now it's just no question and very cool. barely I could barely go full throttle um, oh I did forget to mention too that I got my oil shock upgrades in there if you could see that full metal and uh, oil filled I think I'm running a 45 weight and it feels pretty solid guys hear that I think the pinion came undone but glad I got to get some video in before that happened see you guys in a bit